Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week. And this week, we're in the town I started my TV career in, Abilene. But this time, we're here for Mexican food at the local. In a town known for steaks and barbecue, finding tacos that take it up a notch can be a frivolous task. But when it comes to Hispanic cuisine that takes things to a whole other level, the local is well versed. You can't really get this anywhere else. Bring some of that modern feel that I think people like uh, are becoming accustomed to in other other cities. The food is more akin to like like those higher end places, like the taco places in the bigger cities. The food is all authentic, Hispanic, West Texas style food. It's all the flavors that you're gonna find in everybody's kitchen, in every Hispanic's kitchen in town, elevated. Gabe Stokes is the GM here, and Cody Enriquez is the head chef. We met them a few years back at the Abilene Country Club. That was my first GM job, yeah, it was. You were kind of deer in headlights when we talked to you. Absolutely, <laughs> yep. When Gabe got hired on to help create a unique place in downtown, he brought his right hand man. Cody is the best chef I've ever met, so I had to bring him with me. I just figured it's like, you know, it's my turn to sing and I just need a stage to be on. They created this concept of taking typical tacos and turning the tortillas inside out to make something totally different. The food we grew up eating, it's great, but how come we can't change it? How many tacos are you gonna get today? As many as I can eat. Everything provides its own flavors and everything has its own niche and it's all really good food. My roots are traditional, but my training's not. Yep. So like, different flavor, traditional style cooking, and then we elevate it with everything else that we put in the taco. Cody wanted to show off three of his terrific tacos, and the first starts off with some carefully cared for carne asada. This carne asada is really meaningful to me because it took me three years to develop the recipe. The beef is marinated for a minimum of 12 hours in an incredible smelling combination of cilantro, garlic, soy, lime juice, and cumin. But this isn't your common cut of meat. Most traditional carne asada is made with skirt steak, flank steak. Well, I kind of went up a little bit just coming from the fine dining cooking side. So my is made with New York strip. New York strip? So, oh it's, so it's a better cut of meat. It's just like it's more tender. It's better mouthfeel. That's not a taco. That should be a steak. Yeah. Carne asada steak. Which is why I wanted to broaden people's horizon. When folks found out Cody was using real steak, they had some questions. Because it's a New York strip, he's like, is it bad to put inside a taco? Like, I don't think so, but let's try it. <laughs> why not? The steak is grilled on an open flame. And since it's New York strip, you can get it however you want. If someone recommends like, oh, I want my solid taco rare. It's like, okay, I can cook a oh. rare because you know they want it near. You would never even think about doing something like that. Yeah, I mean, because, I would never consider that an option. Yeah, because it's like most most taco places, all this, all this cooked to well done or whatever yeah. because of the type of meat they use. You start talking medium rare steak in a taco? Yeah. Ooh. The steak gets wrapped up in a corn tortilla with guacamole, pico, cilantro, and cotilla cheese. Next up, the Ruthie taco, named for dear old mom. It's so close to my heart and it's so close to my childhood that it's like I needed to share it with the world and like give them my version of it. Nice! Shredded chicken gets placed in a corn tortilla and is topped with corn, pico, cotilla cheese, and tahini. Beautiful colors in there. Last but certainly not least is something called a wonton taco. What is a wonton taco? The wonton taco is exactly what it sounds like. It's a taco made with a wonton shell. Okay came from Cody's mad scientist brain. Am I supposed to do it with chopsticks or a fork? Optional. <laughs> My idea behind this was, like why are Doritos so good? Because of the stuff that's on them. Cody takes a fried wonton shell, seasons it, throws in some shredded chicken, homemade avocado ranch, cilantro, cotilla, and tahini. All right, Cody. I feel like I'm gonna be eating tacos for days. <laughs> so thank you very much. Hey, yeah, no problem. Good to see you again. You too. Well, we have a smorgasbord of tacos to go through and we're just gonna hit it right off the bat with a carne asada. That New York strip steak sitting in there, ready for the bite. To say it's beefy would be an understatement. I feel like I just took four bites of steak. Amazing. We head to Cody's mom's namesake, the Ruthie. The chicken, wonderfully tender with that pico de gallo and that corn gives it a nice sweetness, just like mom. And now for the thing I was really curious about, the wonton tacos. Oh, that's cool. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of flavors going on there, but, but it all rounds up going together 
and creates a great dish. It's so light and crisp, and Cody was right on with that seasoning. It gives it an extra flair on that shell. Those are awesome. This is um, my second plate of this, so. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a culinary take on tacos, Cody is your man. Right here at the local in Abilene. Well, we're the stop on the Texas bucket list. If you're gonna do tacos in Texas, you gotta do tacos right, and I feel like we do tacos right. Just to like maybe broaden your horizon on a taco. There's a few places that kind of catch your eye and this is one of them. As far as the restaurants go around here, this is one of my favorite ones downtown in Abilene, period. It'll leave you with a different impression of Abilene. It's just not a, a small country town that you just ride through. It's, it has uh, different types of appeals and it is uh, capturing different types of people.